What's up y'all, it's Brock with Louisiana Custom Kayaks. We're super excited to show off our latest product, that being the Hobie Lynx motor mount. Uh, so we're gonna give y'all a quick overview of the whole product and then show y'all how to install it. So basically, this is a uh, hard plastic mount that we've come up with. It's got two tracks on the back of it, that way you can easily remove your motor um, and go back to, uh, to running your rudder. Um, super durable um, and also very simple. We wanted to keep it as simple as possible, that way it was easy to install um, and it didn't take up a lot of space on the boat. Um, so basically to install, all you're going to do is place your mount right over the existing power pole mounting holes on the boat. Um, if you are going to run a power pole, go ahead and put your bracket right over the top and then use your four included screws to secure everything. And just as easy as that, your mount is secured to the boat. Uh, so if we wanted to run our standard rudder system just like the boat is designed, all you do is plop that in back here, um, throw your pedals in, and then you're good to go. Um, if you do want to run the motor, what you'll do is insert your uh, Yak Attack track nuts, will, which will be included, into your track system. Put them through the holes on your motor mounting plate, and this will work with the Newport, Torquedo, or the Bixby. Uh, motor mounting plate, basically anything that has the same bolt pattern as the power pole. Then we'll come back with our wing nuts, um, oh, our wing nuts that are also included, um, and go ahead and secure those down. All right, so now that you now your mounting plate is secured to the boat, we'll come back and install our motor like we normally would. So another thing we want to highlight is the battery box that we came up with for this setup. Um, the Lynx does sit pretty low to the water, so you will deal with splashing um, and water on the deck at times. So we wanted to make sure our batteries were um, out of the elements and secure. So basically we took one of the, the Plano um, ammo cans. It does have a waterproof seal. Um, and we installed a, a quick disconnect uh, battery plug and then we have our two 30 amp hour batteries inside. Um, that way everything's secure, um, it stays out of the elements. Um, and it also gave us a place to add some lights. So we haven't seen any Lynx uh, setups with lights on there, so we went ahead and uh, tried to be the first to do that. Uh, so we got a couple of light setups right here. Uh, we'll throw some, some pictures in the video uh, to show off that. Um, so it's a pretty simple setup. It's very easy to disconnect. That way, if we want to switch this motor to another boat, all we have to do is unplug the battery, throw another mount on that uh, boat, um, and then we're good to go. So we didn't want to lose uh, use of our power pole on this boat by using the bracket. Um, so we did include a hole uh, for your spike to go through just like it was intended to um, on the links. So one of my favorite features about this mount is how easily you can remove the motor. Um, we really wanted this to be a main focus because we know a lot of guys like to pre-fish with their motor and then fish tournaments such as the Hobie series um, that only allow pedals. Um, so removing the motor is as easy as installing it. Um, all we'll do is unhook our steering setup Remove the motor from the mount like you normally would. Place that to the side. And then undo the four wing nuts that we had installed earlier. Now all we have to do is reinstall the rudder like we normally would attach our steering to the seat, and then we're good to go to just use our pedals. We appreciate y'all watching. We're super excited to release this product. Um, y'all be on the lookout. We'll have some new products soon. Uh, we got some stuff in the works for the Outback as well as some more Lynx parts. So we appreciate all the support. Uh, please share this video with anybody who might want to motorize their Lynx. Um, and y'all stay tuned for more stuff in the future.